All right, so if you work in just say like a shitty environment or you're constantly surrounded by people and you kind of want to understand the dynamics of, um, you know, what I'm going to call confrontation is, is I'm not talking about when you walk up to a person and approach them as a form of confrontation. I'm more talking about uh, negative confrontation, which happens all the time. And also positive confrontation can happen. Um, but what I mean by this is that <clears throat> maybe you're driving a car and you can obviously tell someone they're you know, pissed off at you or trying to, you know, annoy you or whatever. You know, maybe they're, they're getting behind your ass or they're trying to cut you over or whatever. Um, or they yell something or maybe you're walking, you know, going for a walk and... Um, you know, someone yells something at you or they're trying to posture or whatever. You know, if you live in a, a shittier neighborhood or if you are more exhausted, usually exhaustion and kind of weakness and fatigue and all this, this is a, it, it's actually a, in the spiritual world, it acts like a bait or like a, um, it's almost like, imagine you smell a certain way when you're tired or when you're weak. And predators will try to, you know, attack you <clears throat> and all this. Um, so you have to be careful about that. Similarly, if you are working, which means you're in a more passive position and you're not working with other people, usually if you're in a group, you will um, have more of a defense because it's, you know, power and numbers though it can also be a group of sheep who are kind of weak and then you actually it's the opposite where everyone is so scared because everyone else is scared so i hope you kind of get what i mean um by confrontation in this way basically like negative interactions you can also on the internet world or internet front it can be like negative comments um, negative text interactions, maybe for people who work online jobs, if you have to do things over video chat, it could be, you know, someone like of negative interactions of video chat, someone uh, you know, saying mean comments or, or just, you know, being an asshole or something like that. Um, so that should give you an idea of what we're, you know, kind of discussing now. <clears throat> one important thing or the main point for the whole thing is you have to understand that behind everything physical is energy and the key to this is mainly through energy at least 90% of the time um, also you're not going to win every battle even if you you know that's another thing you have to understand is that if someone's older than you, usually they have more power than you. Um, if someone is just physically, like genetically stronger than you, then yeah, again, they're going to have more power. So you have to kind of um, calculate your winnings and your, your ability to win and lose based off, you know, age, even gender, your male and female energy is different the way a uh, a woman fights is different to the way a man fights um, in this regard so what you'll notice before any kind of confrontation if you get into enough you will notice this is that there is a shift in the natural energy basically in the Tao you will feel in your body and outside your body and if you are you know, psychic enough the spatial region between you and something else or someone else you will feel a warping and a kind of turning and a um <clears throat> it's like magnets the poles they repel and change and all that um just so you're walking past the person and then you feel this in it's a split second and within that split second you have to push out tense you have to um kind of release your aura a little bit and then usually they will back down. That's if they were trying to do something. Now, just say a person is, is trying to yell at you while they you walk past them. Um, they, you know, if you can get it 
good enough and your aura is and you energetically are strong like much stronger than them they will stop and back down now if you aren't strong enough um, they will release a just say you know they'll say something or they'll yell or they'll release a form like a bad energy um, at you um, in excess of what you were not able to defend against so let's say you you let's say passively your aura defends against 50 percent if you don't do anything you walk past the person who's bad they're trying to you know negatively confront you 50 percent of what they do hits you and you will notice the audio volume it's it's at this much of a level of you know it's almost like a video game or something as weird as the audio volume will be 50 percent well if you were you know tired you're weaker your natural aura only protects you from 20 30 percent you will hear it louder it will penetrate more through your body whatever they do because it's literally an attack this is um <clears throat> these people are demons they're not humans they're, they're in human bodies but they are um demonic you could reason and say they're demonically possessed um <clears throat> but at that point excuse me <clears throat> um i'm gonna have to edit that out at that point I believe that the human is simply just a demon so you know treat them as much anyway 30 or, or I mean 80 or 70 percent of that volume will get through or, or whatever if it's a punch let's say you know just someone punches you or whatever or it could be you know it could be any situation if they're trying to crash a car into you if they're trying to um psychologically manipulate your opinion um you know if they're a more cerebral person whatever trying whatever way and whatever level they're trying to attack you on you know, levels think of elements think of you know or the body physical mental etc uh depending on how much you passively have a shield for now what I'm saying is when you feel that that split second um, confrontation of energy, if you kind of resist and you, you 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 know buff out your your aura a bit, you push out and you kind of you tense and you you get into a little bit of like like a defensive battle mode, not not really anxiety, more like a whew, like a pushing out um, or like you know you maybe if it's a, if it's a visual thing you're more of a mental person you're in the office you look at them with those you know, you, those, those eyes those strong eyes you look at them and uh, you resist it kind of showing hey you know, don't you don't think about doing that and um it's best to do it on the level that they're doing it um but if ultimately firstly try to use energy if the energy does not work and you know this person is like you know verbally attacking you whatever then verbally attack them back verbally on the same level that they're doing it push back you know, you're growling back at them essentially you're, you're staring back um and you have to understand if you take it beyond the level of energy then you could get stuck into confrontation of you know uh, I don't really want to get into a staring contest or whatever. Um, so personally, you know, I'm not going to look at them and stare at them for a long time. It'll just just a quick glance, a quick you know, like a, a quick like a fuck off with the eyes essentially, or a quick boy, you know, something like that. Because um, otherwise, then you get into a the problem of a lot of people they know that people that that it's difficult to fight physically because there's so many laws and such and you have to um you know be careful that because they they know that and they think well okay i'm just going to keep staring at them i'm just going to keep verbally you know, attacking or whatever because this person's not going to um fight back now allegedly um if you fight physically and beat people or you know even quote unquote kill people um you're going to have a the kind of aura which tells people you're going to do that and then they will be very scared allegedly you know you have to 
<laughs> you have to be careful about how we're saying, but you know, you can you can think about that in your own time if you want to, you know, get into that level of, of um, reality. <clears throat> but getting back to the main thing, it is in that point, and and after that point, you need to have your shield up because chances are you only defend at 70 to 80 percent so there's still a 20 to 30 percent of lingering energy or if they verbally attacked you you know the verbal um, sound gets into the bones and nerves um, it rattles you essentially you still have that rattling within you it's minor because you defended more so you have to work on the rattling or the um or if to say someone punched you they punch you you tense and defend it's the same thing um you're you're energetically defending you're energetically resisting and showing and and giving them a feeling of nope you know, of like i i am you know i'm dangerous essentially I'm, you don't don't fuck with me um same way if someone punches you and you just say oh, no it hurts and then you, you start crying then they're just going to keep doing it but if you 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 push into them and you you tense um and then you smack them back you know they're going to be like oh geez okay this person i, I don't want to mess with them anymore and they start to get scared um not everyone gets scared if they're more seasoned but if they do then you can either that fear fear is a point where you can say you can tell them no more don't do that again you know you have control at that point or you can just smack the shit out of them, um or verbalize you know verbally attack them or energetically attack them if we're talking about curses and uh, mental stuff you know it's up to you what you want to do personally you know, I give people a chance if they, you know, I'd rather, um, I'd rather live a peaceful life to be honest. So I give them a little chance, but it also depends on how I'm feeling. You know, I'm an emotional person, and I think that's a good thing. I think emotions are good. Um, contrary to what people think, you know, passion and and love and um, anger and fury and all these things, you know, they're good. It's good to have because I, emotion is what moves you. But so um, you know you <laughs> you get me in the wrong emotion, and um, well, I won't give you a chance. It just goes to that um that way. But also, I recommend you in all confrontations try to follow the dare or the middle path. Um, you know, if someone attacks you and you defend and they kind of cower and they're done and you don't really have a reason to keep going you probably shouldn't unless you feel like you need to teach them a lesson uh, that's basically they've done something bad to you you do something back you you it's like a pendulum you always want to keep the pendulum balanced because problem is if you do too much to someone um, you know, you you become the bully. You become the um, the bad person. Now, of course, as I said, there are times where you need to um, smack the shit out of someone, or you need to teach them a good lesson. Especially if someone is young, and uh, usually older, the older someone gets, the less they're going to do with this bullshit confrontation. And you'll have good interactions with people when they're older. But young people, they need to be taught a lesson. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of men, they, they either their fathers, you know, they're drunks or they're um, degenerates or something. They don't teach their children. They don't teach them correctly how to live. And then they, they go to the streets and then they try to terrorize people. Um, though, again, I find the older I get, the less a younger person wants to try me. Um, now, all I find young adults sometimes try me they usually don't because you know I'm a young adult and I look I'm very physically um, I'm, I'm scary that's you know I don't try to be but I'm, I look very scary to a lot of people um, <clears throat> but I also look kind of majestic in a in a way well, like very noble so um you know people you know people my age don't usually do that young kids I find um, 
or not, no, you know, teenagers, kind of teenagers, I find they give more, they will give respect because they are not very strong. So if they're fucking about, you know, having fun, whatever, and um, you need to get through a door or whatever, usually they'll move and they'll, you know, show you respect. Um, I find if you're physically, you know, strong and respectable, the one problem I find is, is adults, you know, people who, not young adults, but people who are kind of like, 28 to maybe 36 once you get about above 36 you, you kind of you're kind of a bit of a weird person if you're still trying to start start shit with people like you have to be a severely mentally ill degenerate um beyond that point but people who are kind of you know fully physically um developed personally i have i can have some troubles with them because they know they're physically stronger than me they know they know more than me and um i'm ultimately always going to lose the interaction unless i want to fuck us both over essentially and you know because i can cause damage but you know i'll take on damage so it really it's that kind of thing you have to learn for your own age group you know if you're a teenager you're going to have trouble with, um, you know, again, teenagers and, and, and probably young young adults. Uh, if you're an adult, it, I actually don't know because um, potentially older people than you, I, but I don't know, you know, does time mellow you out enough then? Um, or then do you start having trouble with younger, you know, young adults who want to contest you? Who knows? Who knows? You know, I think it, it could depend. Uh, physically, the more you work out and exercise, the more um, your energy will just naturally protect you and you won't have to defend yourself as much. Or when you do defend yourself, you will be, you know, stronger. Same way you will be able to take a punch more, the more physically developed you are. On the mental level, the more intelligent you are, um, the better you are at, you know, mental attacks, be them psychological manipulation, like workplace bickering and, and all that bullshit, or, um, you know, magic, essentially, you know, force of will attacks. Um, mm. So anyway, I, oh yeah, one last thing is on um, the modes of energy within you <clears throat> so you've got kind of three modes three basic modes we can think the first is more internal it's defense it's um kind of shielding healing defense mode this is when you're just you're at home you're relaxing you're you're not really worrying about people or, or other things you're kind of just you know chilling out um putting energy within yourself uh, or, or healing yourself you know just drawing it in the next is neutral this is when you're out and about in society this is kind of that 50 percent 50 percent um where you you know you can still take on just say if you're you're walking or riding or driving or whatever and someone um you know yells out or or, or, or runs at you or does some you know um bullshit you, you you're not gonna defend as much but you you'll take on some of it um because it's neutral it's half and half your energy is halfway out of your body and halfway in and then the third is more like attack mode you can think if the first is defense mode this one's attack where you're completely externalizing your energy now the thing is you are more vulnerable to attacks in this mode but people don't want to attack you because you look scary you look you know intimidating um and big and all that stuff but you're actually more well it depends it depends on how much adrenaline's kind of going through you so um okay what, what, let me put it this way you're externalizing your energy completely to attack to or, or to use it for defense it's actually you can use this for defense as well external defense um but what happens is if you if you burn up all your energy then you'll ru kind of rubber band and it'll go back inside you and you will be defenseless similarly if you are in the you know you're in your home you're kind of relaxed if someone puts their thumb onto you you know literally jabs their thumb into you you're going to be a bit more um like ooh, because you weren't 
externally you weren't feeling your external body you're feeling the internal body um, <clears throat> but because the, the energy is all into inside of you it'll go poof outside um, so you'll just have to think about that how the internal and in external dynamic of energy works in that way anyway I hope you got something out of this um, I hope you can better learn to defend yourself just realize that most of the time it's energy even in a fist fight even in a verbal fight it's energy behind everything every behind everything is energy win the energy battle um, and then win the other battle and then afterwards you know heal yourself and recover uh, recuperate and all that it's another energy battle and it could be a psychological and you could be fighting someone in your mind afterwards which I believe is a real you know it's just really happening between two people so win all those battles um, don't fear anything fear is the ultimate you, know, you have to kind of get into enough confrontation where you stop caring where you stop fear, fearing it's more only if you are really exhausted that you kind of start you're like Ugh, you're just because you're naturally kind of tired so you naturally just subconsciously fear or whatever um, but otherwise yeah, you'll be fine anyway hope you enjoyed that uh, good luck keep yourself safe out there don't do anything stupid <laughs> and uh, check the links in the description if you're interested and goodbye